Hello, my name is Daniel Dioveso, Professor of Environmental Engineering at Itesa University. This project, the Rotary Drone Bioreactor, begins due to the concern of the university to be a more sustainable campus. At the beginning of 2019, the project led by professors of environmental and biotechnology engineering was approved. The objective of the project was to create a low-cost rotary drum bioreactor that transforms organic waste of the university into high-quality compost. Preventing the organic waste from reaching the landfills has multiple environmental advantages, such as no methane seepage, no groundwater contamination, no movement of other contaminants due to the leaching of the water of the organic waste, and no energy used in moving organic waste to the landfill. The main advantage of the rotary drone bioreactor is that the composting process can be done in populated areas. It does not produce any other. It smells amazing over here. It does not attract any vectors such as mice, flies, cockroaches, and the composting process is done inside of a closed container. The product of this rotary drone bioreactor is a high quality compost that it can improve the soil quality and reduces the amount of water used for vegetation. During the first year of the project, mid-2019 until mid-2020, small prototypes were developed to begin to understand the decomposition process of the organic waste. These first prototypes were two plastic drum bioreactors with a capacity of 300 liters and one 400 liter stainless steel rotary drum bioreactor. In these prototypes, tests were carried out to check and improve what literature stipulates. We used different proportion of kitchen scraps and gardening waste. We changed variables such as humidity and the number of turns per day. These experiments show that the mixture can be approximately two parts by mass of kitchen scraps and one part of gardening waste. The ideal humidity is between 60 and 65 percent and the number of turns is one to three each day depending on the temperature. These results were obtained by the work of several students of environmental biotechnology, industrial and mechanical engineering. The work with the first prototypes was the basis for the creation of the 10,000 liter prototype. The 10,000 liter rotary drone bioreactor was built and designed by ITESO students, professors and technicians during the second year of work, mid-2020 until mid-2021. At the same time, during the second year of work, the diagnosis of waste generation and awareness campaign were carried out for the entire university, especially for the cafeteria tenants, since 80% of the kitchen scraps are generated there. This campaign involved students and professors from graphic design. During the third year, mid-2021 until mid-2022, tests began the 10,000 liter bioreactor and work was carried out with a master student on her thesis of, on quality in composting processes. This rotary drum bioreactor is capable of processing six tons of organic waste per month. This is a fed batch rotary drum bioreactor. Every day around 200 kilograms of waste are introduced into it. The mixture inside can get as hot as 65 degrees. It stays inside for one month and after that it takes another four weeks outside to mature and to be ready to use. The cost of the construction was around $20,000. This is five to ten times less than the commercial rotary drums bioreactors that exist today on the market. Finally, we can see the results of the test of the last year. Both are now ready. This is, they are already a mature and a stable compost. The third test is almost ready. It just needs to be screened so that the elements that were not broken down re-enter the bioreactor. And finally, here we have the fourth and last test that they are in process of maturing. They will be ready in about three to four weeks.